joking. Now, construction's underway to build Britain's largest portable railway at a Leicestershire train station. Four miniature railways are joining together to make one massive model railway. Think a giant Hornby train set. And if you like the idea of it, well, you can ride on it this weekend. Sophie Wilden has more. It's taken over six months of planning and now a further six hours to construct. Once complete, this giant model railway hopes to be the biggest pop-up ride-on train track seen in the UK for nearly 30 years. It's been created by these miniature railway enthusiasts who've been planning this project since January. So we're running um, four trains at any one time. They'll be going in opposite directions, so there's quite a lot of action. Um, in total, we've got uh, about 18 locomotives. We've got steam trains, we've got diesel trains, we've got battery trains. Um, and it's, it's going to be quite big. It's uh, the biggest in the UK for a long time. It's about 350 metres. For the passengers, we just want them to have a nice fun train ride. You know, the same as they get on the big railway, they can, they can do it on a little railway. Um, we love to talk to children, particularly about the trains, how they work. Um, we show them how to drive them. Um, you know, it's, and, then, and then just having a fun train ride. It's, it's, it's really funny. It's almost like being on a little miniature motorbike or horse. It's quite a strange experience to run around. And to do it somewhere like this, it's just fantastic. For the Portable Railway Club, this is their biggest and most complex build yet. There aren't many miniature, permanent miniature railways that can run four trains, so we're really pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Um, and that's all because the points and the track work we've designed is basically like a big model train set. So it's designed to be able to go together really easily in different orientations, and you just take a panel out and put a different one in. So we're going to have quite a complex little railway, and it should be really fun. So hopefully plenty of people come along to have a ride. The event hopes to get more young people into engineering. The engineering that goes into all of them is quite extraordinary and what we're doing here is we're, we're passing on more and more knowledge to the next generation. So we've got loads of young people that are coming and getting their hands dirty and helping um, and they'll be helping run some of the trains and help operate the thing. It's full steam ahead from half nine tomorrow. Sophie Wilden, BBC East Midlands Today, Quorn. So if you like trains, you know where to go. Well, let's hope the weather will be kind to them. But Kay, 